Hi everyone, welcome to the AI and Data Roadshow. My name is Melody Yen. I'm a Partner Solution Architect at Global Partner Solutions Tech Team. My focusing area is AI and Machine Learning. In today's session, I'm going to walk you through Azure Document Intelligence. Here is the agenda for today. First, I will give an Azure AI Service Overview, then dive deep into Azure Document Intelligence. I will show you some sample architecture and introduce the use cases, and then I will give you a live demo on the document intelligence, and at last, share with you all the resources. Here is the Microsoft AI portfolio. Document intelligence, previously called Form Recognizer, is one of the scenario-based services in the Azure AI suite. As a cloud-based Azure AI service, it enables you to intelligently process documents and make data-driven decisions. With document intelligence, you have high accuracy and precision with the optical character recognition, but it's more than that. You can extract data from different forms and documents. You can also get output tailored to your own layout with auto custom instruction and improve with human feedback. You're able to ingest data from the cloud to edge and use AI to scan, read, and identify the key value pairs appropriate to your business. Document intelligence also have the built-in security where you can rely on enterprise-grade security and privacy. Here is the feature level comparison between OCR and document intelligence. With OCR, you can extract text from image, single pages, and plain text documents. But document intelligence takes care of the discovery, understanding, evaluation, adoption, and support pipeline. The layout model performs form text extraction, taking into account the document structure. The pre-built models can be applied to specific documents, like text forms, identification documents, invoices, receipts, and many more. You can even train your own customer model with your own data and labels. You'll get rich insights for entities, tables, checkboxes, sentiments, and topics. In addition, PII reduction and other post-processing capacities are built in to secure your data privacy and usability. Here are some top cases seen among multiple partners in different industries. First one is robotic process automation. Document intelligence can be extremely helpful when the company needs to manually enter data from documents into structure schema. The second one is intelligent search indexes. This is when company needs to manually read thousands of documents, including contracts, insurance claims, to find important information like clauses, PO amounts, or total on the text documents. The third one is industry-specific applications, where company has industrial-specific documents like drilling reports or medical reports that the team need to analyze for a variety of purposes like internal benchmarking and patient processing. Here are some examples of document process automation in real life. There are health records, banking documents, including mortgage applications, loan processing, customer information, including ID, passport, driver licenses, invoices, government form for tax, legal, and employment, and insurance claims like healthcare and accident. You can even train your own customer model if none of the previewed ones satisfied the needs. To train a customer model, the first step is to prepare your document. You need at least five field versions of the same form. Then you need to run the layout model and label your fields. Then you're good to spin up a training and evaluate your result. I will show you in detail at the demo in a minute. Now I'm going to show you a demo for Document Intelligence Studio. If you have already created a resource for this service, please feel free to follow along with me. So in the studio, the first part is the document analysis. These are the fundamental models. With those, you can extract test, table structure, key value pairs, and name entity from documents. The first one is read. So this is very basic. It just extracts the printed and handwritten test, uh, also with the barcodes, formula, and from size from images and documents. The layout enables you to extract table, check boxes, and text. And here, the general documents actually is going to be deprecated. It extracts key value pairs and structure like tables and selection marks from any form of document. So actually, those features are all available in the layout model. So you can just go ahead and use this model for 
um, all those capacities. The second part is the pre-built models. Those models enable you to extract data from very unique document types using um, the pre-built ones. So here are some examples. We already talked about those in our deck before. So notice that here are some new document types, such as the US tax, uh, the US mortgage, um, and the marriage certificates, also credit cards. So if these are aligned with one of your form um, training requirement, you can just go ahead and use those pre-built ones. And the third part is custom model. So if any one of the fundamental models and the pre-built model for specific forms does not satisfy your need for your use case, you can go ahead and prepare your own sample data uh, with the filled out forms and spin up a customer model training. You can also do the validation and testing um, when you hit get started here. So the customer instruction model, um, can, uh, with that you can label and build the customer model to extract the specific schema and for the customer classification model, you can split and classify your document. First, I'm gonna show you the layout models. Now you can see this is a form that I have already filled out. Uh, before running the layout model, I can specify the analyze options. I selected the key value pairs because there are a lot of these um, in my form. You can also select barcode if there's any, and language as well. Uh, I also added the query fields. Here is the filmer. It's one of the x-ray exam that is included in the form. Feel free to add more and hit acknowledge. So now we can run the analysis on this specific form. It takes a while. So this is the fundamental models. It's not based on any of our um, customer training. So here you can see here are some content, the paragraphs, um, and the test is identified, and also the polygon indicating the location for this specific uh, area. And um, we can also look at the selection marks. So these selection marks are also detected. Um, the selected ones, uh, the state is selected, and for this, this state is unselected. And we also have the confidence score and the polygon for location as well. We also have tables. In this form, we have two. One is for the patient information, and the other is for the x-ray task. You can go ahead and review the forms um, to see if the representation as is accurate. We don't have figures, so we'll proceed to the fields. So these are also um, other labeled. There are different fields, for example, this is date of birth. And um, for the value, we can compare to the original one to see if that is accurate. It also have the location as well as the confidence score. So here the query field is actually not detected because there is no selection to the um, FAMR field. So you can also look at the JSON formatted result here, um, containing all the information that we just discussed. And the Python code, for if you want to copy it or download for further exploration, you can also do that. So this is the layout model. And now I will show you also the custom model. I'm going to show you how to create a project from scratch. So first, give your project a name. Now I'm going to configure the service resource. I'm selecting my res subscription resource group and the cognitive service resource that I created. Now I'm going to connect the training data source via my subscription resource group and the storage account where I put all my sample forms in. The block container. Okay. Now hit create project and I'm lead it to this studio. So you can see here are some pre-populated tables and also field. Those are the results from the layout model. Um, so you can take a look at these and um, here you can add additional fields. So for example, um, I have Dr. Uh, Fong. And you can feel free to select this um, number here, and we can pitch the doc phone. 
So in this way, this uh, data is labeled and same thing for other fields. So after you select this, the number will appear here and you can compare with the um, real information to see if that is correct. And for the selection mark part, for sex, I have created two selection mark field and um, if I click on this box here, it will uh, have the option for me to choose either of these uh, selection mark field that I created. So for female here, um, you can see it's uh, already representing the actual value. So there is unselected checkbox for male and a selected checkbox for female. This is pretty accurate. And so if um, you look at this table here, you can spin up an auto uh, label. So just create a new table object here. Um, I will give it a name table, hit continue. So here is the uh, layout result for the table. And if there are any unwanted rows, uh, you can just uh, review and edit that and hit finish. So now you can see I have this table and with the uh, pre-populated task indicating the specific field, whether it's selected or unselected. So in this way, you don't need to label each one of these uh, selection box one by one. You can see there are a whole bunch of them. And this is uh, very good for scaling. So now we have the table. And if something doesn't look right, you can even use this draw region. Uh, for example, we can um, draw a box for the patient name and you can select the name patient and it will be this uh, selection box under the patient name. And let me end drawing. Okay. So after you label all of your forms, um, you can hit this train button and this enable you to train a new model you can just give your model a new ID name and also select the build mode. So usually we will start with the neural. So this is a neural network deep learning model. Um, it will take into account the pre-labeled uh, document and fields into consideration when it's been up a training. So uh, after you have labeled five, at least five documents, you can also have a template build model mode. So I'm not going to train it here because it takes some time. But I can show you one of the trained model here. So uh, by this, with this model, you can also select some new files for um, a task chain purpose. So now I have uh, dropped this file and it's processing. Okay, now you can feel free to add the analysis option and query fields and then run the analysis. So this is based on a previous model, it's called X-Ray01 that I've trained based on five documents. And now you can see the training result. So there are some information which is not found, for, for example, the male of the sex item. Um, but for example, here the weight and height are identified with a pretty high score. And also the doctor's city. Um, yeah, you can see these are pretty accurate. And you can also look at the JSON formatted result. You can see all the information needed, um, the polygon of the location, and also the content. Uh, you have the confidence score as well. Feel free to download or copy that. And you can also access the Python code. So yeah, that's all for my demo for today. Here are some additional resources and documents that you may find helpful on document intelligence. That's all for the session today. Thank you so much for watching and please feel free to reach out to me if you have any further questions.